how to make your own custom analog OSD. The poorest class I've had in a long, long time. Attitude. You don't pay enough attention in class. You don't do enough work outside. You don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. Don't you realize that mathematics is an important subject? I tell you right now that unless you get over your lazy habit, come up to the standards I've set for this class, many of you will have the pleasure of repeating this course next semester. Now I want you to open your books and work out correct solutions to the problems you missed. What's up, y'all? Welcome to today's video. I've had a lot of requests lately about how to make your own custom analog OSD. That's what today's video is about. But I wanted to show you guys, it's super easy. It's like a little website you go to and you bippity bop and upload your font and I'll show you I'll show you the whole thing. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through and make an actual whole new font because it is a little time consuming. However, however, I will show you from beginning to end. So I'll show you the whole thing. We'll make a font and then we'll get it uploaded onto your quad and then we'll test it. And it's super easy, like I said. So um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but welcome to Spider Sugar's How to Make a Custom Font in Betaflight OSD School. It's, it's only for analog though, sorry. And if you, if you do have any uh, additional questions about uh, the fonts, like where to get a, where to get a base font, I'll, I'll have a, uh, a base font um, in my Discord. So go to the Discord and then go to channels. It'll be custom OSD um, how to. Um, join the Discord, go over there, click it. That way you can have a font ready to go out of the box so you can play with. So I have the website pulled up. It is OSD font editor, so it's osd.vitroidfpv.com. So uh, go check that out. So I already have a, um, a font that Gringo and I made previously. Um, you just click choose file, click your font, and then you hit read. So we're gonna go ahead and click read, and then it reads it. So now you see over here on the left, we have every character um, in the Betaflight OSD. And um, I'll show you how to get little images and all that, uh, but we're gonna start off, I'm just gonna give you a basic overview of the program. It's super simple to use. If you've ever used a, uh, like a pixel art creator, that's exactly what this is. Um, you don't have to be a master of typography or anything. What, what we did is we took, we uh, literally took a font and then we pixelated it um, and brought it in uh, kind of like as a reference. So you do, it is a little tedious. You do gotta paint every single square, but it's really not that hard. Like if you just wanna like make a couple letters and use that, that, you know, that'll work too. You just keep in mind of what ones you're changing. So this is the font that we created here. A is A, B, blah, 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 blah. But you'll see right here, you'll see where it says it says 65 hex, or 65 is 41 hex. Each one has a corresponding number. So that's how Betaflight is reading this. It's not reading it as like ABC. So you can put in whatever you want, which is kind of cool. Um, for the, like the RSSI and like link quality, we made this little eye. So it's like this little all seeing eye thing. I, I don't know, I, we thought it was cool. So um, also, one of the coolest things you can do is your battery. So this is this is technically the battery image. And there is, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames that you can make for your battery. So it's various levels of it, you know, being full to empty. So on this, it's a little coffin, and the coffin runs out of juice until it eventually says RIP, <laughs> which I thought was pretty fun. Um, 
it is a little it is a little tedious like I said, I'm not gonna go through and show you how to paint in uh, this program. Just, just be patient, take your time, keep in mind the space, this, like the spacing of the font. It's, it might be a little wonky, um, so it's gonna take you a couple times to kind of like tweak it. You might ha you're gonna have to basically make the font, upload it to your drone, and then look at the OSD and see if it's like how you like it or not. So it is a little bit of a trial and error. Um, so in that sense, it can be a little tedious, but other than that, it's super, super easy. So let's go ahead and make our logo. Let's replace the, the Betaflight splash page with our own logo. So you go up here, again, it's super easy. Click logo upload, and then we're gonna choose a file. So. We'll, we'll use the beta FPV one, for example. So this logo works really well because it's simple. It's three colors, or technically it's, it could be two colors. So it, it looked, it uploads, or it, uh, it converts it for you. So you don't even have to, you don't have to do anything special, like slice things up and draw them in little bits on the grid to make it work. So, all right, we chose our file. We're gonna go add to font. So we click this and boom, Add, it added it to there. So now when we boot up the quad, we'll have a beta FPV in there. <laughs> um, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna read this again, get that out of there. Another thing you can do is custom graphics. This one, I don't recommend. Uh, you can replace the pilot name uh, with your own like little like custom graphic or logo. I have tried. I know there's a way to, there's a way to do it, and I sat I sat down today and I was like I'm gonna learn how to do this so I can teach everybody. It is a pain in the ass, so I'm not even gonna bother. If you want to, you, there might be a tutorial somewhere. So you says craft name, pilot name, you use these characters, and then it populates. See, I, I tried to do it over here. I have the little FPV gang, a uh, uh, little FPV gang logo that I made a, a long time ago um, as the OSD. But every time I put it in there, um, it's all jumbled and you gotta try to like line it up. And it is honestly a pain in the ass, not worth it. Just make a cool font and put your pilot or your pilot name or your craft name. That's literally, that's literally as easy as it is. So once you have your font all made, you go into here and you just like export MCM. So you click that and it says, it'll uh, put a little thing in your downloads folder called exportedfont.mcm. That, that's what you'll use in Betaflight to uh, upload your font. So again, pretty easy to make your own font. And like I said, this, it's a little tedious, so it does take some time. You gotta go in pixel by pixel, draw your characters, which actually is very simple. Um, it's just very tedious one pixel at a time. So next, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna open up Betaflight and I'll show you how to put it on your quad. Okay, so now I got my little, my little quad. I got Betaflight open, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this connected and then I'll show you how to um, put your own font on it. Just really easy. Connect. Ooh, it's working. Okay, so now we go down to uh, OSD click OSD and where it says font manager click font manager so this is the bait this is the default beta flight now when you upload your own font uh, custom font it's not going to show up on the OSD maker thing it doesn't show up here but don't worry it it does get uploaded so click font manager we're gonna go up to open font file. So we're gonna click open font file. And now you see it changed. We got, I got my splash logo, everything is ready to go. And then once you're ready, all you gotta do is click upload font. So you click that, oop, upload font, it's uploading. It'll reboot and then We'll hit connect and I'll show you 
So it, see, it doesn't show that the font has been changed, but trust me, it has. And if you go to Font Manager, again, it's not gonna show you your custom font. I don't know why that is. Beta Flight, maybe it's a bug. I, I have no idea. Um, and that's all there is to it. All right, well, I guess this is the part of the video where I trick you into watching uh, a freestyle uh, clip thing that I made. So freestyle clip thing that I made. All right, well that is it. That is that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned how to make your own font. Um, uh, down in the description below is the link for the website um, to make your own font. And shout out to the website creator who I totally just fucking forgot. Um, my bad. Uh, <laughs> there'll be a link to the website and any info I can find about them as well will be in the description below. And uh, if you enjoy the video, uh, do subscribe. And I got a Patreon and a Discord and an Instagram. And uh, if you give me 20 bucks a month, I'll put your name at the front of the video like this one. And if you give me 60 bucks a month, you get your name all fancy, glowy, and you get to support uh, a super cool stuff. Plus you get a t-shirt every month, which is super cool. I pay for everything out of my own pocket. Um, I don't, I mean, I have, I have a couple like sponsors like GemFan, hell yeah, CNHL, fuck yeah. Um, but they don't give me any money, they just give me props and shit and everything else comes out of my own pocket. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling on and um, uh, yeah, okay, bye.